My name is Holmer, I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I'd like to uh, continue our series Mental Health Disorders Explained. Today I would like to explain uh, some of, about bipolar disorder, which certainly will be won't be possible in one video, so look at further follow-ups. Bipolar disorder, or previously called manic depressive illness or manic depression, has been around for thousands of years, was described by Hippocrates, and lots of research have been, has been done in the 19th century or 20th century uh, by Kreplin, by Leonard, by Sege Jung and others who have uh, coined the terms unipolar and bipolar. The uh, disease is uh, one of the most severe psychiatric disorders and it varies from uh, patient to patient, so every patient perceives it slightly different. Usually what's common is that there are prolonged uh, depressive episodes which uh, alternate with periods of mania, which are uh, characterized by elevated or irritable mood. Um, there are symptoms of reduced need to sleep, pressurized speech, increased libido, reckless behavior, and a disregard of possible consequences. Um, some, some people with mania have uh, psychotic symptoms, which makes it very difficult to uh, distinguish manic depressive illness from schizoaffective illness. But we will come to that, that later. Um, usually manic episodes have severe consequences and may lead to hospitalization. That's not the case in hypomania, where the presentation is slightly less severe. There's a whole spectrum of um, bipolar disorder, which um, usually vary by severity. And uh, one is cyclothymia, which usually has been, had been used for the most severe forms, but currently is more used for forms where it hasn't been with most severe symptoms, including hospitalization. If you assess people with bipolar disorder, you look at the previous episodes, how long they were, how long were the times between episodes, how, how did people function, did they function well? That's one of the differences to schizophrenia, where it has been described that um, the inter-episode functioning is reduced. Um, you ask for alcohol and drug abuse, which can be uh, very severe during manic episodes. And um, there is treatment, and I'll come back to that in later videos. Um, the treatment cannot eradicate the disease, but it can prevent episodes, it can reduce the severity of episodes, and the aim is to help people function in their environment and help to function with the disease. So there might be some psychotherapy included in this treatment. Other treatments include medication, magnetic stimulation, but I will come to that later. Uh, if you want to hear more about that, please do subscribe to our channel, YouTube, Global Psychiatry Archives, and enjoy all the videos which give information about mental health problems in an academic sense, but also for the general public. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.